Welcome everybody to a brand new upload and it is going to be the My Rise episode 3 but I do have a quick apology because my audio got corrupted for this entire recording which I know it, it sucks on but I got it fixed I'm getting it going right now episode 4 will be out very soon and I'm sorry next episode will be a huge episode we'll get done with a couple of uh, stories either way um, I am deeply deeply sorry but I'm going to show you the main segments and all that and what led to me choosing some of my choices. Now, uh, let's get on with the video. You wanted to talk, right? What's up? I've been thinking back on my own career lately, and I realized a lot of my success can be credited to the factions I was a part of, both off screen and on. Just like you, I was strong willed and independent. But in WWE, you often find yourself needing backup. The other members of the clique and DX also puts each other to be better. What are you getting at? Two prominent superstars have approached management with the idea of building a faction around you, and the brass thinks it's a good idea. Is the Intercontinental Champion the lock? It's a pleasure, man. I've enjoyed watching you tear it up so far on Raw. And they weren't wrong with all that hype, which is why I wanted to talk to you. I'm relaunching the Hurt Business, and I want you to be the centerpiece, the new CEO. Glad we could finally talk, especially since you might be hearing some big promises from guys like MVP. But let's cut to the chase. What has he really accomplished? A lot, actually. He's been a success both inside the ring and outside guiding the Hurt Business. Sounds like MVP's gotten to you already. But I know he's a big talker, which is about all he can do these days. Unlike me. So, why are you getting involved with all this faction stuff? I enjoyed what I had in RK Bro, and it got me thinking about my start in WWE, when I was a part of one of the greatest factions of all time. Evolution. I want to add to my legacy by building an even better version. Interesting. So, where do I fit in? I'll be the veteran leader, the Triple H type. And I see the lock in the Phenom role that I held. You're not the guy yet, but with my help, you will be. I seem to recall that you and Evolution didn't end on the best terms. You don't need to worry about that. With me in charge, it will be different. And when the time's right, I'll pass the torch to you and you'll become world champion just like I did. When will that be? I can't make any promises. Ultimately, it's up to you. Ball's in your court now. Let me know what you want to do. So when it came down to it, and I was sitting there and I was watching, and I read through MVP's soul spiel and uh, Randy Orton, and I ended up choosing Evolution, uh, more so just bias because Granted, Evolution didn't end off at the right of terms, but to be fair, I think Evolution is one of the greatest factions of all time, and if I were to choose in real life, I'd probably want to be chosen in Evolution. I've heard enough, and I like where this is headed. I'm ready to join Evolution. Good. You made the right call. I'm extremely confident in your abilities, but I want to give you a crash course in doing things the evolution way. Meet me at the performance center tomorrow, and don't be late. I'll be there. One, two, bring it. Joining Evolution feels like a turning point in my career. I mean, everything before this felt big, but now it really seems like I'm on my way to the top. But do you think Randy Orton will be willing to share the spotlight with you? Can you trust him? I was skeptical of all this at first, but I'm trying my best to trust the process. Which is tough, since I know Randy's not always been the most straight-up guy, but I think he really wants to do this the right way. And that means stepping aside when the time's right and giving me the spotlight. 
Any clue who else will be joining this new evolution? Randy hasn't told me anything. I guess we'll all find out together. Well, that was it. I was joining up with Evolution, feeling great, and then I saw who came out. Of course, it was not just me, it was not just Randy, but it was Slade. So, obviously, I didn't like it, but I said, look, I'll deal with it for the better sake of Evolution. And I also mentioned that this looks a bit more like Legacy than Evolution, considering we don't have a veteran. Either way, Evolution is here on Raw. And they look ready to dominate. I'm having flashbacks to 20 years ago. Like I said, I am extremely sorry for what had happened with the whole audio, you know, just throwing out the window, corruption, whatever. But luckily for you guys, a brand new series is starting. I am getting this fixed, so this will not happen again. A brand new series, though, has started, and I am posting it the day you guys will see this. My GM is making a debut here on Powerbomb Inc., right? And then in a couple of weeks, we got a very first episode of the podcast, so make sure you guys stay tuned for all that. Next episode, we explore some of the whole evolution arc, and there we go. Have a good day. Have a good night. Whatever time is for you, and goodbye.